now in this exercise 9 we are going to use the storage class for our metadata service let's get started so i have my three node cluster running kubectl get nodes i have my three node cluster no pods no pv no pvc the first thing that i want to do is since i am using mongodb i want to retain my data so my reclaim policy i want to set it to retain so what i am doing here is that i am creating a storage class which is having reclaim policy as retain and i am using the provisioner as my driver longhorn.io which i have already set up on my machine let's first deploy this storage class storage class is already created unchanged kubectl get sc so i have now two storage class one is the default one the one is lh hyphen retain and the reclaim policy is retain for that okay good first thing first i have to go and look at my pvc where i'm doing mongo pvc is my name of the pvc and i'm using storage class name as lh hyphen retain that's the difference here let me go and apply this You'll notice that pvc is created along with the pv and attached right the reclaim policy is retain here size is 1 gb now let me deploy my mongodb pod my mongo pod is running on kts node 3 now i'll apply my service i'll deploy metadata okay my metadata pods are up and running let's try and access let's try and access no data present there so let's insert some data let's try and see that showing up in the result yes so two records inserted looking good all fine so this is how my storage class is used now let me go and undeploy this and delete pvc and everything let's see what happens to pv and my actual mongodb data stored inside the actual storage all gone now it's time for deleting the pvc so i'm deleting the mongo pvc my pv is having a reclaim policy as retain okay so pvc is deleted pv is still there and as it is let's try and see it on the long on reload we have one volume here however this volume is in the status detached i can take a backup do whatever i want to do let's delete this pv as well Let's see what happens. PV is deleted, gone. My volume is still there, data is still there. And that's the advantage of retain. So if you have your database data, you always keep your reclaim policy as retain so that it is not deleted when your PV or PVC is deleted. And that's how my storage class works. So now in this case, I did not had a PV and my claim was fulfilled by the template, which is called storage class. And that's how you can dynamically create your persistent volumes. That's all in the storage class. In Kubernetes, volumes is most difficult topic because it consists of many types of volumes. Starts with empty directory which is used to share volume across containers within the pod and always starts empty host path to share the volume from your node directly available then there are two special resources persistent volume and persistent volume claim persistent volume actually represents the physical storage and either provided by administrator or dynamically created using storage class 
machine driven volume claim is to define the storage requirement by consumer which is by pod and helps to decouple actual storage details from the user which is pod and the final type is storage class which is used to provide the dynamic storage solutions and its property differs based on the cloud service provider or underneath storage solutions that you use to know more about volume types and all that you can visit kubernetes documentation the most important topic comes when you have to set up your storage solution on premise question comes how to set up cloud native distributed storage solution on premise like we have on the cloud you have already seen in the exercise and demo i am using longhorn which is first class cloud native distributed storage solution by rancher labs there are other solutions which is chef and rook which also can be used that's all i have on the storage